Hello again, everybody. I thought I would do a quick video uh, about my Starlink dish and the issue I'm having on my property with a lot of trees. I've had a lot of comments from people on my previous video, so I thought I would do a little bit more in-depth uh, conversation on how it's going for me. Um, I did take some additional video of really the challenges I have on my property. As you can see, I have a lot of mature trees, a lot of height, um, not a lot of space uh, to get a signal up and around these. So the biggest challenge was to find the spot and I ended up taking the roof of a garage that I had built here recently and that's where I cleared out the most trees but as you can tell they're surrounding the perimeter of that particular area and I've received a lot of uh, messages and, and comments by people who are dealing with similar circumstances on their property so um, I thought I'd give you a quick video of just everything that I'm dealing with and I'm sure you all have some similar maybe hopefully better, but maybe worse situation than I'm in. Um, you can tell I've actually marked some trees that may be uh, cut down in the future. I haven't made that call yet. I, I don't, I wanted to lose as few trees as possible, but I did tag some tall ones that are pretty close to my building and close to my dish. Um, and I'm going to show a couple different views here on, on just how much clearance I have. Um, as we know, the, the satellites kind of crisscross as they come across and the, and the dish jumps from one to the other. So here's my um, app and uh, it's kind of hard to see. It's on the side, but the, all those are typically to the west. I mean, and they're just along the fringe of, um, of the app saying, hey, you got a little bit of obstruction down there. This is the back side, pretty clear on the back side, but the dish is typically pointed to the north and the back is obviously the south. And as you go around, we do have some taller obstructions uh, right there. And those are some of the trees I actually had marked. Um, I'm gonna show a second view here in a second um, with the ones that are, are really big in front of my dish. Um, that gives me some obstruction, I believe, especially on windy days, they, they move around quite a bit and maybe obstruct a little bit more, but it, it's not horrible what I'm dealing with. So with that said, let's let's take a look at the statistic analysis app um, on the on our on my phone. And you can see in the last 12 hours, I've only been obstructed for 48 seconds. Honestly, I'm not unhappy with that. Who knows when that took place? It could have been the middle of the day while I'm trying to stream something, or it could have been the middle of the night. But in, in a half a day's time, less than a minute of obstruction. Obviously, the satellite coverage is still limited till more satellites are launched. Two minutes, not horrible. And then the other obstruction, which um, it could be anything. It could be software updates that they're working on the beta. It could be something unrelated to anything that we're doing on our end. So again, I'm ecstatic. And you can watch my previous video uh, where I actually saw my other options, which was either a hotspot or HughesNet. Um, I've since canceled HughesNet altogether. Um, so the situation I have now is tenfold, if not a hundredfold better than I had before. So I'm optimistic it's going to get better as time goes on. And uh, so far I am 100% recommending Starlink. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you all again in the future.